Welcome to the ISTQP Foundation Level Certification Preparation Course. Thank you that you decided to make this journey with us. Today we are going to have a look at what the ISTQP Foundation Level exam is. Let's begin our journey. The abbreviation for ISTQB is the International Software Testing Qualification Board. ISTQB was established in 1998 and its certified tester scheme has grown to be the leading software testing certification scheme worldwide. You can read more about ISTQB on the website. Most likely, you already know why you need an ISTQB certificate. But if not, we'll tell you about several valid reasons. The certificate is the most popular and recognizable in the world for test engineers. That's why it's one of the most widespread requirements for tester vacancies. With this certificate, it will be much easier for you to find a job and start or enhance your career in this field. You can read more on the ISTQP website about that. We often use the word scheme because the ISTQP is more than just one exam and certificate. There are different levels of exam foundations, advanced, and expert. And three streams, core, agile, and specialist. The agile stream focuses on testing practices, specifically for the agile methodology. The specialist stream provides a deep dive into areas which may be based on quality characteristics, specific test approaches, and test activities. The core stream modules are valid for any technology, methodology and application domain and built on the foundation level. The certified tester foundation level certification is part of the core stream, but it is recommended to get the foundation level certificate before preparing for any other streams or levels. It provides testing professionals with essential terminology and breadth of knowledge. Let's look at it in detail. There are a lot of information about the exam on the website, therefore, in this video, we will discuss only the most important aspects. First of all, we will overview the content and structure. What do the red and blue squares mean? The red squares are chapters. There are six of them in total. Fundamentals of testing. Testing throughout the software development lifecycle. Static testing. Test analysis and design managing the test activities, and test tools. We need to study all these chapters very well in order to successfully pass the exam. And for this, we need educational materials. We have a separate video about educational materials, what they are, their structure, and where to find them. Therefore, we will not dwell on the details, only a general overview. On the ISTQB website, you can find the ISTQB STFL syllabus version 4.0. This is the main book for preparing for the exam. The syllabus is structured according to the scheme we showed earlier. It has six chapters and the first chapter is Fundamentals of Testing. Just like the first chapter in the scheme, each chapter is approximately 10 pages of content in the syllabus. Each chapter consists of paragraphs which are formally called learning objectives. The first chapter has five paragraphs. What is testing? Why is testing necessary? Testing principles, test activities, test wear, and test roles. As we can see, all paragraphs are in the syllabus. Again, we will have a separate video on the structure of the course. However, we would like to say that the course is built according to the same structure. There are six chapters, and the questions are sorted by the paragraphs of each chapter. Therefore, it will be easier for you to study the material. The content of the syllabus and the exam is clear. There are six chapters that need to be studied. And at the end of the educational process, an exam awaits us. Let's check its structure and rules. We have highlighted six important rules that apply to the exam. Let's discuss them in detail, one by one. Again, we have a separate video with many details about the exam, so in this video we will cover the basic rules in a simplified manner. The first exam rule is that the exam shall consist of 40 multiple choice questions. There will be 40 questions on the exam. Words multiple choice can confuse you, so let's look at the sample exam. On the ISTQB website we can find exam samples, which have the same structure as the real exam. In the document, we can see that there are exactly 40 questions in the exam ticket. 
Let's take a look at the structure of the question. Multiple choice question means that each question has four answer options A, B, C, and D. And you need to choose one answer option. Rule number two. Each question is worth exactly one point. This is a debatable rule, but so far in the exam, all questions are worth the same number of points. As we can see in the exam samples, all 40 questions are worth exactly one point. Whether it's beneficial for us or not, it's difficult to say. Most likely, it's beneficial to us, because there are questions of the K3 level. Those are complex, and according to the ISTQB methodology, it is believed that their solution should take about 3 minutes. In fact, some of the questions are so difficult that they take a lot of time. Fortunately, there are only 8 such questions on the exam. Other questions are short and simple. Finding the right answer to such a question takes a minute or less. And they are also worth one point. Let's check the next rule. The next two rules apply to the passing score. Since we have 40 questions and each one is worth exactly one point, the maximum number of points that can be obtained on the exam is 40 points. But in order to successfully pass the exam, you need to score 26 points, what may seem like a low threshold to pass. In fact, answering 26 questions correctly is not as easy as it seems. The next two rules are about time. The time allowed for each examination is exactly 60 minutes. If the candidate's native language is not the examination language, the candidate is allowed to have an additional 25% of time, which equals 75 minutes in total. That's why, if English isn't your native language, don't forget to check the time extension checkbox when you'll register for the exam. That's it. We discussed all six rules. You can pause the video and read them one more time. And we would like to note a few more features on the exam structure. As you already know, the exam consists of six chapters, but they do not have the same value of points of the exam. And in each lecture, we emphasize the number of questions per chapter. Before the exam, we would like to remind you of the exact numbers once again. Eight questions will be related to the first chapter, Fundamentals of Testing. Six questions, Chapter 2, Testing throughout the SDLC. The first two chapters are the easiest because the questions in them are logical and smart. Four questions, Chapter 3, Static Testing. The fourth chapter, like the six, has many theories about the role of the review, the characteristics of the review, which must be memorized. Eleven questions, Chapter 4, Test Analysis and Design, nine questions. Chapter 5, Managing the Test Activities. Together, the fourth and fifth chapters are 20 questions, which is half of the exam. Last but not least, only two questions will be related to Chapter 6, Test Tools, a total of 40 questions. That's all. In this video, we discussed the place of the Foundation Level Certified Tester Exam in the ISTQB scheme, the structure of the syllabus, chapters and paragraphs and their content, and the structure and rules of the exam. As we said before, most of these topics have their own extensive videos in the course. We wish you an interesting and easy preparation. Thank you that you decided to make this journey with us. See you in the next video.